All right, so I have a look what we've got here. A Wi-Pi arrived. Nice box containing a Wi-Pi, an expansion board, and promises lots of fun. I'm all for that. We have some getting started instructions that will be useful. And we start here. Open here. Okay. That is what comes out. We've got a bit of foam at the bottom, we look at that. Okay, so this here is the Wi-Fi itself. And this is an expansion board which includes um, power and the SD card and LEDs and buttons, all good stuff. Uh, so if we take the Wi-Pi, and we place it in the middle, um, and we put in an SD card to play with later, and then we power it with USB, we see a little green light over there to show that it is on, and there's a little heartbeat on top that flashes red every Four seconds. Okay, so now we should be able to connect to it. Turn Wi Fi on. And sure enough, there's a Wi Fi access point. So we connect to that. And then we should be able to. Download into it. Password is Python, and we have ourselves a Python prompt which can do things. Excellent, very good. So now let's see if we can make it do something more interesting. There is a user LED on the expansion board, so let's see if we can make that. Flash. We define the user LED and then we toggle it. That is going to, there it is. It's the yellow one. It's tiny, but you can just about see it there. We can make that go on and off. Well, good, that's uh, a start, but let's make it do something slightly more interesting. I have here a relay board and a digital multimeter that's plugged into it, configured for continuity testing, so that should go beep when the relay activates. Um, if we take the power, this expansion board has got markings for the um, for the individual pins, so it's ever so convenient. So we'll put the ground in the ground, we put the 3.3 .3 volts in there, and we put the pin in pin 5. Now, if we use pin 5, bigger, and toggle it, we have a beep. That's good stuff. Okay, now we did uh, plug in an SD card earlier, so let's see what we can do with that. We can mount it and list the files. Uh, we see there is a hello.py, which I put there earlier, which we can read as a file. What does it look like? It's just a Hello World program. Good, so we should be able to run that. And indeed we can. All right, that is uh, it for a quick first look. And I'll have to think about what to do next. Now you may wonder, how did I know it was pin 16? Um, I couldn't actually find that uh, in any documentation, but because this is open source, 
all this good stuff is on GitHub. If we look at the hardware, uh, the expansion board, uh, the schematics, we see the pin assignments, including GPIO 16. So that's the one I used. Okay, one more little example, just because it's also addicting. Um, well, have a look at inputs. I have here a button with wires. If I put one in pin 4 and the other one in pin 3, in uh, 3 volts rather, and I have a button, I can run this code, which reads the value of the pin. Currently there's nothing happening, so we get 0 if I Hold my button down, I get one.